Welcome to Author Ranch. Hey, Link. Hi. How are you, buddy boy? Good. Link and I are heading to the vet clinic. Got a bunch of errands to run today, but I got to do a little bit of work at the vet clinic real quick before we start those, and then we'll start our day. Uh, we'll check in. We'll check in on one little patient. I'll let you see. Cute, right? She's purring. What does that mean? It means cats like you. That's what they do when they like people. They purr. <laughs> Do you want a big truck with a big engine that's really expensive to fill up with gas, or do you want like a little car with a tiny engine that's more affordable? Um, diesel gas. You want diesel? <laughs> this is what you do when you're a grown up. You just stand here and watch your money go up. This Six... is diesel. Yep, that's diesel. How'd you know that? You're just smart. What, does this truck take diesel or gas? Yeah. It takes, it takes gas. What trucks take diesel? Big trucks. Big trucks. What else? Do I have any trucks to take diesel? Yeah. Which one? Um, Humvee. The Humvee, yeah, and but... Ooh, almost left me hanging. Ultra 4 takes diesel. Too. No, it actually took gas. It took special gas. It took race gas. 112 octane. Blah, 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 blah. So cool. Leaving the bunker, just dropped off Link with Mare. All the kids are here, actually. And I have to run a little bit of an errand. Uh, it's really important stuff, uh, business things, just trying to better better my family. That's that's what I'm doing. Okay, see what happened was I was gonna, I just thought that, I don't need to go in. I probably, I probably should just, probably should just go home. I just, I just go look, I'm just, no harm in looking, I'm just gonna look. Uh, it's, um, it's, they're just, it's just, an, it's nothing, it's just. Don't tell Mary. <laughs> and now the moment you've all been waiting for. This is a 2019 Massimo Warrior 1000. I'm gonna go through and review its quirks and features, and then I'm gonna give it a mat score. This is my 2019 Massimo Warrior 1000. They had a Warrior 800, but they just came out with the 1000cc engine, the more powerful engine. And you might notice this thing looks a little Humvee-esque up here. I wish we had a Humvee to compare it to. Oh, <laughs> there's a Humvee right here. So you can see on the grill, you got the like little openings that way. You got a bumper down low and a very big, flat, squared off look. We have a winch, a 4,500 pound capacity winch up here in the bumper, and everything's metal on this thing. Like this hood, 
this rail, and it has it's a cargo deck. So you can put some up here. They have tie downs here. All this is metal. 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 And a big metal dump bed. Bumper in the back with a step up so you can easily get up into the bed. We do have a trailer hitch down here with a standard ball on it so you can pull little trailers around. Got big old 14 inch wheels with some really beefy knobby tires on them. And then you can see there's like little tie down holes everywhere, tie down rings everywhere. So you really can strap a lot of stuff up on top of this and tie it down wherever. You also put two by fours in here if you want to build a bigger box around the back. So it has three full seats so I can fit in here with three grown men. You know, my three best buddies will just drive around all over the place. Or the family, me and two family members here. and We go cruise the ranch and get a bunch of stuff done. We do have a windshield, full windshield. It has a little half windshield with a little thing there to kind of keep probably water if you're going through water, keep it from splashing right into your face. Um, this windshield does come up. Cool, and I think it actually will remove fairly easily. Yeah, looks like it'll pop right off. If you don't want that windshield, if it's really hot, you can just pop that whole thing off, take the windshield off, and uh, you're good to go. This has a regular, like, what do they call, CVT transmission. Um, let's turn it on. Let's go see what we got here. Oh, ooh, fancy. Fancy, how many miles we got on her? Zero hours. She's brand new. I need to put some gas in it. I have been needing a UTV like this for a while. You know, I've got the go-karts if I need to like do something little, like get to the property on the back end or something. I sometimes use the electric bike because it actually is really fast and easy. If it's something big that I need to move, I use the Humvee, but like, if I'm like going out with a bunch of guys, we need to go out to like the range or something, like this is perfect. Or if we need to move some rocks, move some stuff, doing some yard work, stuff like that. I've wanted one of these for a long time. And so it was about time that I finally got one. Like, I have land, like I need a UTV to get stuff done when I'm doing work and stuff. So let's go try it out after I put some more gas in here. We're gonna go drive it out and see how she works. And we'll kind of go through a few more of her quirks and features. Oh yeah. This thing's brand new, so technically I'm still in the break-in period, so I'm not supposed to like floor it, floor it. So we're just gonna take it easy at first, see how she does. It's pretty smooth, I like this. It probably doesn't look smooth to you guys. The camera's shaking. You can see I haven't mowed out here in a while. So these are super tall. You can't drive go-karts through the pasture when these are this tall because these are full of pollen and they explode on your face. They just go boom and shoot pollen in your face nonstop. There's also stickers down lower and speargrass. I showed Nick Irving speargrass the other day. He didn't know what speargrass was. And so some of you guys might not know what speargrass is either, but let me let me find a good sample. So this. This is speargrass. And for those who didn't grow up with speargrass, you had a terrible childhood. So you grab one of these little spears and you pull it out. That is a spear. And it sticks. Well, okay, it didn't stick. I'll throw all these spears. <laughs> See how they stick? As a kid, we used to throw these at each other. But also just walking around, they'll get stuck in your socks, and they're really annoying. And driving a go-kart, yeah, they all get stuck in your underwear. They go straight up your shorts. It's rough. Shouldn't talk about that, man. Don't need to go there. Yeah! <laughs> this is awesome. Let's take a little off-roading, go down. Oh, it's muddy. Uh, I don't want to get it muddy on the first day I've had it. Okay, let's get it muddy. Let's see if she'll spin the tires. Oh, yeah, she'll do it. You know what I kind of want to try? I shouldn't. Let's do it. We're going to go down the hill. Down this hill is not bad. It's the back up the hill that's going to be interesting. Yee! Oh, man, here we go. Whoa! Yeah, buddy. Okay. Let's check out the suspension. Independent front and independent rear suspension on those big tires. Makes this no problem. It's a breeze. Okay, we're gonna try to go up this hill. So the go-karts, they had a lot of trouble getting up this hill. Um, when my brother, who was lighter than me, was in it, it made it up barely. 
With me, I had to get a bunch of speed to get up it, and a guy that was heavier than both of us couldn't get up the hill in the go-kart. So, we're gonna start in two-wheel drive first. Lockers on, rear locker is on. These things you can turn the front or back lockers on. We're gonna have two-wheel drive with lockers to start out. I don't even know what we'll need four-wheel drive for. That was way easier than I thought it would be. Well, I guess it's just way more capable than a go-kart at hill climbs, which I guess makes sense. Yeah, cool. Okay, what else do I need to tell you about this thing? Four-wheel drive, easy to switch between two and four. You have your two locking differentials here. You got turn signals. We do have headlights. I'll show you those. Lights, those are running lights. And then you have low beams and high beams. That's all of them on. So, pretty mean looking. We got a winch out here. Go ahead and unlock her. So I bring her over here. We hook her on to a tree to pull ourselves out or probably my buddy who got stuck in their Dodge and they need a, you know, they need a hand. Just kidding, Dodge guys, I'm hilarious though. Oh, I need to lock it again. Lock her back uh, this way. Okay, she's locked. We pull her back in. Just like that. They got guards down here for the lower A-arms. Disc brakes all the way around. There are disc brakes on all four corners. Um, but yeah, you can see the independent front suspension there. The engine is right there. You can see the uh, dual exhaust back there. It looks like a motorcycle exhaust. Big shocks and springs there with our rear independent suspension as well. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. It's got a power dump bed. Um, let's see, which one is this? It's not fast, but it does dump. <laughs> we'll be right back, just a second. You can see the two hydraulic lifts right there that dump that bed, and then when you're done, you just hit the down button and it goes right back down to where it should be. So this is primarily going to be a work vehicle and not like a fun vehicle. Like, Go-karts, those are primarily a fun vehicle. This one, we're gonna do projects with it. And we actually have some big projects coming up that are gonna make this thing very handy. But this is my brand new Massimo Warrior 1000. How do you like her? If there was anything you could do to change it, what would you do? I mean, we could mod it a little bit and do some little things to it. Let me know if you like, or like Matt, I have a UTV and this thing is a must have. Let me know because Maybe I need more lights on it. Maybe we need to put a light bar on the roof or something. The roof's metal too. Everything's metal. This thing is heavy duty, man. Even Demolition Ranch may not be able to break this thing. Hey, family. Hey, Lincoln, you gotta share us. Mayor, what do you think? This is huge. Yeah. Now, we get a lot of things on the channel that you're not a huge fan of. What are your thoughts on this? Um. Cool. Yeah, big family activities, right? Yeah. I'm all about family, guys. When it, when it boils down to it, I just think of family first every time. Mm -hmm. Right mm -hmm. after your meal. Yes. <laughs> Look at the two little babies. Oh, they're super cute. Man, they are not scared of us at all. Mm -mm. Can we have a baby deer, Mom? Mm. Come get in the back. Come here, we got room. Link, can one buckle in with you? I, w I thought they would be scared because this is like so loud. And yeah. Stuff. Look how cute those little babies are. You know what kind of deer those are, Link? Um, cactus deer and cactus, cactus deer. deer. Okay. He's close. Okay. Cactus deer and what else? And normal deer. And normal deer. So those are called. The other ones are white tails. Good job. They're all white tails. The babies and the moms are white tails. And cactus. <laughs> and you're trying to say what, Addy? Do you know what they're called? So the spotted deer are called axis, but baby whitetails have spots. We are gonna cruise around a little bit more. We're gonna break in the Warrior 1000 a little more. And thank you for watching Off the Ranch. We, uh, we have lots of stuff planned for this thing. We have some projects, some really big projects in mind that are we will- Are you gonna paint this? Uh, painting it actually sounds kinda cool, but we have projects we're gonna and use it for. There's paint every Spray paint everywhere in the barn. Yeah, that's a secret for a demolition ranch video. Shh. I can't tell them these things. They spray painted something. It's not true. It's not true. <laughs> Thanks for watching Off the Ranch. We love you. It's we'll see you next time. Whoa. Oh. Hey.
Wait, what camera is that? Number. Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mayor. <laughs>